Hello and welcome friends, welcome to a special unboxing episode. This is quite quite a large large box, so I'm sorry guys, I will try to film in this angle and maybe you will see uh, better the content. So for this unboxing I have some scissors, I have some letter opening knife, I have some small knife from Pelican and I will get started. Why is this a large large box? Because it contains some interesting storage for the fountain pens. You can see on the right that I store my fountain pens in these plastic drawers and I thought to myself that I need to buy a vintage box that would accommodate my collection of fountain pens, at least a part of them. And I found this special sewing kit, you will see. I paid for it uh, 367 lays, and, uh, which means I paid uh, 74.52 euros or 89.01 American dollars. So I'm sorry guys. I will try to open it as good as I can and after that you will see the end result. Okay, I will start by opening this part and maybe I need a smaller knife. Let's see. I will use this Pelican small knife here. Because it's a, it is a piece of furniture, I, um, I want to be very careful with it to avoid scratching the content. It's such a large, large box. It wasn't delivered to my doorsteps. I, have, I had to bring it home from my local postal office. And don't get me wrong, it's not a great distance, but... And... Uh, it's not so um, heavy, this box, but it took me a while to reach my home address. Okay, so this part is where we move. And now I will use my scissors to cut the top part. I'm quite excited about this box guys and I hope that it will go quite well on uh, video. Okay, so this is the first part and I think I can open it. Let me see. Yes, I can open it like this. And here it has a large uh, protecting material. I will leave this down. Let's open it. Okay, and I will open it from here. And it's wrapped. I hope I can bring it out, guys. Let me see. Yes, it's wrapped in this package. So, I'm sorry guys, but I have to take it down, I have to take it down, so for a moment it will be gone, but let me try to remove it from its protective case, yes, I've managed, so this is the little box and this is another part of the box let me see yes it shows quite well on video so okay now it will be quite simple i will cut it from here You can see the beautiful, beautiful 
wheels. It is a table on wheels. I'm excited to show you all the stuff. Okay. So now I have to be real careful because I don't want to leave some scratches on it. Maybe I will use the scissors like this, guys, to simply gently cut the layers of protective material. Okay. It looks quite good, quite good. I like it a lot. Okay. I want to thank the seller, he wraps it quite good as you can see. Let me cut this part. Okay. So wrap here. I will cut it from here. Okay. Nice nice look. I like the wood, the vintage aspect of the wood. Let me see. Yes, I can cut it from here gently. Gently. Okay. This will be a little struggle here, but I've managed to fill it off. It has some wear on it, but it is normal. I believe it's quite old, from the 1930s or 1940s, but I can be wrong. I'm not an expert on uh, furniture, but it is a nice, nice piece. Okay, another set of wheels on this beautiful leg. Now guys, I will turn it like this. Okay. Now I will turn it like this. Okay. And now let me use again the scissors to make room for. Believe me, I have some large scissors, but I didn't find them before the making of this video. Yes, this will be quite, quite a difficult operation. And I don't have proper tools for it. So let me place it like it is on its legs maybe it could be quicker like this yes okay it definitely needs some restoration this uh, piece of furniture but i like the vintage aspect of it maybe i can find a good uh, restorer for it, it shouldn't cost me lots of money because it is like, it's quite simple, it's not so voluminous, so big. Okay, guys, I have to use my knife. Okay, cut it gently. And remember, I have still one part left. Open. Let me see. I'm right down to the last details.
and I don't want to stretch it in a way. So okay like this and then let me place it like this gently gently gently. I think it is a nice piece and I certainly didn't pay a large sum of money for it so I'm quite pleased and uh, next I will show you the spaces for storing the fountain pens that would be interesting so I'm down to the last little leg Let me see. Yes. So I will cut it like this. Gently. Yes, definitely a fragile little little table. And guys, uh, in case you don't know, this table was used for um, storing your stewing materials. So this is it, guys. This is a little table. And it had also this. It lacks one of its um, little handles from here from one side maybe it is inside of it yes it is inside of it so the seller had to remove them in order to box it for, for the post uh, of his journey I have another pair of small scissors guys to to cut this last part You know that I'm not a patient guy, so this unboxing has uh, made uh, definitely, and it needs a little bit of restoration. Well, I simply hate this part. <laughs> Especially if I don't want to ruin the delicate, delicate wooden material. Let me show you guys. I hope you can see this on camera. It is a real struggle, struggle for me. Guys, I hate this part. I really do. I hope I didn't. So guys, it will take me along. Maybe, <laughs> uh, I don't know, drink a glass of water and enjoy the ending of this video. Because I have to tell you that I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm quite... I don't have a technique of opening this. Oh, I've reached the end point, I hope you can see. Yes, this is a handle, a big handle. I think it goes over here, I'm not so sure. We will find out in a moment. Finally, this part is done. And now, let me take on this big boy here. I will just use the beast mode. Yes, what can I say? It is wood, I hope I won't ruin it. Guys, now I simply use my small but sharp scissors. I wish they were sharp. 
And I think now I will use this knife, a letter opener. This is a total fiasco, and I'm sorry for it, guys. I'm really sorry. At least I've reached the other part. So it doesn't glide off. It appears to it has another layer. So with a little bit of patience and yes I need a sharp sharp scissors. But I have only this. I must do what for Guys, after minutes and minutes, I've managed to take it off. So, I believe that this goes like this here. And this is the box. I will remove this. And now, guys, I'm sorry. I will try to take the camera off because I want to show you this beautiful, beautiful. So, it has a compartment here. And I'm not so sure how to, yes, it has this here. Okay, it has this here. So guys, this is the box. It is like this, it has these compartments that I will use to store my fountain pens. I will capitulate it using some velvet material. And I have also this piece. I have my little scissors, so it is, uh, I will show you. I don't want to ruin the surprise. I hope that I can open it quite, quite easy so let me do a little cut here a circular cut here okay this is a really interesting object it was like a novelty object and i don't think it cost me yes it was included in the price of uh, this furniture hmm. i think it's a uh, a uh, nice object, you, you will see what I mean. Now I will try to open it as gently as I can. It is quite well packed. Okay guys. Hmm, it's like a, <laughs> a religious uh, object, but I don't like it a lot because it's made out of cheap plastic. I just saw it on pictures and I thought, yes, it is, it is a cool, cool object, but it appears I was wrong. At least I have a cool, cool box of... Uh, storing my fountain pens and this is like a, you will see like a display case for other written instruments let me just open it it goes like this and it has another part here well, this should seem like an imitation of leather, and this is velvet. I'm uh, not so pleased with this object, but it's not a problem. And again, a cheap plastic, which goes like here. You can rotate this, and you can store fountain pens in it. Well, it is what it is, guys. So... Guys, this was my review 
of uh, storage or nice nice piece of furniture for a part of my fountain pens i hope you've enjoyed this video if you've enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel to support my activity i will see you again at the next video till then bye bye guys and please take care of yourselves in this pandemic times